But the, mo but the whole mode itself is called Dying Light, Bad Blood, not to be confused with the Tea Swizzle song. Uh, the Tea Swizzle song? Would you, would, you care the, would you care to demo it for us? God, no. <laughs> uh, so, this is a Battle Royale mode that's coming. To, so, Dying Light, like, as a game, it came out a few years ago now. The amount of post-release support that game has received from Techland is kind of incredible. Um, and it still has a very, very active and rabid fan base. So, uh, like, that coupled with Battle Royale being a big deal. Wait, sorry, what's Battle Royale? Never heard of it, no. right? <laughs> uh, so do you, do you play much Dying Light when it first came out? No, I didn't actually play it at all. It was one of those games that I uh, really liked the look of and never ended up actually finding the time to play. So I was thankful today when we got to play a little bit of this, it's a standalone Battle Royale kind of like spin-off, right? Yeah, so instead of, you know, other games, other Battle Royale games, you have 100 players and it's a battle to become, you know, the last man standing. In Bad Blood, there are only 12 of you, but it's PvP and PvE. So you're not only fighting against other real life human beings, you're fighting against the zombies. The zombies, the undead. The undead from Dying Light. So then what you do is, uh, there is a chopper coming to rescue you from this living hellscape full of zombies. Uh, but there is only one spot on that chopper. And of course, the, the guy who is driving the chopper, you know, you've got to give him something. So what you have to do is collect blood samples from those blood hives. Um, we'll be seeing, like, in a second, you have to collect the blood sample. And when you collect a blood sample, you kind of basically level up. Um, and if you get a certain amount of blood, then you are eligible for that one spot you can win the golden ticket to you can win the golden ticket a, a, a longer life uh yeah and when, when you uh collect the blood uh correct me if i'm wrong you you get uh, more health and you get a little bit faster you get a little stronger um and so like that i mean it's a pretty small bump mm -hmm. but um you know it helps you on your way to becoming the number one and if you have um like low health you get your health back as well so it's super useful yes so here this is actually some of your gameplay you went on like a little bit of a killing spree so not only are there the zombies to contend with, you have the 11 other players, um, and what you're doing here is brutally murdering them. A little parry there. A little parry, very well done. Um, and then what you can do is you can take, obviously, their weapons, their ammo, but yeah. crucially their blood, so there are multiple ways in which you can actually like level up, which means you don't necessarily have to put yourself into the thick of things, you can just hunt your mates. Yeah, I, I really liked that actually, and, and and although you need to get a certain amount of blood to, to be able to cool in the chopper, mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be the one that gets on that helicopter, right? You can yeah. just hang around the extraction zone and and kill all the other players and nick their blood and then... It's basically, it's basically like Dark Zone from yeah. uh, Division, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I put a gameplay of this little guy in, so you obviously have like regular like the zombie nests themselves that you have to get the blood from they can be easy they can be regular they can be hard this is a hard guy this is a hard nest purely because of this guy so i have used molotovs on him i've used a grenade on him just there and look how little i've chipped away at him he's yeah. ridiculous so part of the thing that i really liked about it is again talking about the ways that you can the multiple ways in which you can approach things is that you can actually like run distraction mm. and like lure them away or wait until another human being like a human player is um like taking the heat from him yeah. and just basically nick the blood while they're not watching him yeah yeah i i really liked that kind of like flexibility that it gives you mm. um and i i, I think the, the difficulty with what you were facing in, the, in that last little section there was that, I mean, you presumably at this point had a pretty basic weapon. I was pretty uh, fresh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. No, I, I had like a couple of uh, landmines and I had molotovs and I had a grenade, grenade and I completely wasted them all on him, uh, which meant that I was more woefully unprepared when I actually ran into more zombies and more humans later on when yeah. I was playing. But like, of course you can actually upgrade the weapons you get as well. Like yeah. It's not just a case of picking up new weapons, you can, you can actually make your existing weapons stronger and give them like weird perks like a, there's like an ice upgrade for one of them and yeah so that's what that's the thing that i really loved about og dying light and you know dead island is that like it was all about this great melee based combat you didn't really want to get guns involved because that would just obviously draw all the zombies to you unless you were into that i mean <laughs> no judging um but like the one thing i love is that you could you find a weapon and you notice that when i in my gameplay i'm pretty much always using this scythe because I just had a really good feel to it. It yeah, was fast. You pretty good with the scythe, I have to say. Pretty good with the scythe. Um, not so good at climbing, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, 
you can you could take that scythe and you could keep repairing it and you could apply mods to it and just basically make the weapons that you want to like the crafting so i think that's a really clever thing that they're doing is that they're taking everything that was so great about dying light and just like putting it into this new package yeah and and i think the most well maybe not the most attractive thing but something that i think will definitely help it in the fight against you know pubg and fortnite and all the rest of these battle royale games um, is that it, it is going to be free to play when it, when it eventually launches. Yeah, uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. So it's going into essentially like an early access-ish kind of thing? Yeah, it's like early access on Steam in September. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be paid. Um, so you have to buy a thing called the Founders Pack in order to get that. So that is Steam early access. And what they were saying is that once you bought the Founders Pack, you'll get access to exclusive items that will never be available to other people later on That's and right. you kind of get to help I guess you're basically helping to shape and yeah definitely like helping fund help and balance helping and develop the game at that mm. point right um, and you get regular updates of course um, and then they haven't got a time frame on the final release yet um, mm -hmm. but that is going to be free to play um, it's going to come to PC first then Xbox and then PS4. Yeah, I think Xbox has a little exclusivity on. Oh, so those guys, I was just fighting there. So not only the zombies and real people, you can get like these uh, these helicopter drops, like you had in the in the main game, uh, like uh, like caches of useful items, weapons. Mm. And they were a bunch of AI dudes who were guarding those. But then I actually ran away because some body. One told me. Told me. I, know, I, I, I regretted that almost as soon as I said it. Uh, someone had enough blood in order to actually get the helicopter to spawn, so right. I didn't actually open the weapons cache. Unlucky. Uh, they did say as well that they're going to be bringing more maps, more modes, more yeah. weapons, that kind of stuff uh, after launch. Yeah, which um, is cool. So like again, like what we've come to expect from Techland and Dying Light is just like tons of support. Yeah, and I think, again, that will help them in, in the sort of Battle Royale... Battle Royale. Um, the Battle you know. Royale arena. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because I think the things that PUBG and Fortnite do so well is mm. the sort of endless, continuous support that, uh, that, that they get. And I think if, if Techland, you know, keep their promises, which I'm sure they will, I, I think this could really rival those two. And, and as well, we should mention that although uh, I think they said that their current plan is that ranked uh, game modes will you, you'll have to enter as a solo player, mm. there are going to be sort of casual and, and private modes as well. So this is actually some of the B-roll that Devs gave us because it's uh, like a guy at the end like actually getting to be one of the final people. I actually did manage to get to the end uh, and I died almost immediately in a so, so you didn't, comically bad you, you, fashion. No, but it was like me and one other guy and he just like... Uh, is, is that the end? Is that really the end? It felt like the end. It's the me. end for you. It was the end for me. But that guy <laughs> did have a gun there, so there are guns, but like... Oh, okay. I don't know, man. If you're playing Dying Light, I don't want a gun. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you what, though. It did actually... And again, like, I didn't... As much as I liked the look of Dying Light, I didn't actually get around to playing it in the end. But, oh, like, mate. if this is free to play and I can jump on this and have a quick 10-minute match, you know, with a couple of mates in casual. A hundred percent I'll jump on that. So like the original, when, it, when Dying Light first came out, like it genuinely was a huge surprise and I gen I loved it. Uh, and this again, like when I heard Battle Royale, Royale was coming to it, I was like, eh, but honestly, had a whale of a time, I think you'll agree. Uh, so for more on Dying Light, Bad Blood and Dying Light in general, Dying Light 2's coming out as well. Park all your Too way. Too much Dying Light in my opinion. No, Too I'm joking. Nah. Uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled to GameSpot.